the Abscondo Podcast. Hello and welcome to the Abscondo Podcast. This is Mark. I wanted to check in. I know it's been a little while since my last podcast and a lot of things have been happening in the world. It's really actually exciting times to be alive. You may not know that if you're watching you know, only the mainstream sources of information and, and news, but if you're paying attention to everything happening and listening to uh, your friends and family tell you about things that are happening, um, you realize you're living in historic times, like biblically historic, interesting times. And personally, I'm extremely excited about the next few months, about the next few days or hours, but you know, the next few months, because what we're going to see is this great emergence of truth. You know, truth about about the election in the U.S., truth about coronavirus, truth about the banking system, truth about, about the media and Hollywood. And don't take my word for it. Again, this is my role here is never to convince people about what's happening in the world. There are many others with better information than me or, or, or you know, more focused and more passionate about presenting that side of things. My role that I see, that I, that I hope can, is my role, and I hope this is useful to someone out there, um, is to help people sort of process the information coming our way, how to, how to take in all of these massive changes and this new information about what you're going to be getting in the next few, very shortly, let's say in the next few days and weeks, although it's coming in slowly every single day, drip, drip, drip. And at some point, everyone in the world is going to have to acknowledge some things. They're going to bring this to the forefront where everyone is going to have to be honest about the world we've been living in, about the things that have been happening, about the kinds of, the kind of world we want, about how we feel. And so there's going to be, you know, I think the challenge is not going to be, you know, how do you find out what the truth is? I think that's going to be coming I think the challenge is going to be how to process it, right? So how to emotionally handle all the changes, the massive changes coming our way. And, you know, everything you thought was true isn't true. Or, you know, some of it may be, I don't know. But we have to, you know, even I'm going to be in for a wild ride because I don't know everything. That's obviously... I don't know a lot of things about what's true or what's not. I have my my opinions based on, you know, my own research. And I've been living in this way, as I've said before, for about 20 years when I realized the official story about 9-11 and the Iraq war back then didn't really add up to, to being believable. And then I started to look into alternative information. But the thing is, once you once you once you open your mind to the reality that that what you're seeing on TV and the radio and you know the, the mainstream government narrative the corporate narrative once you you come to a point where you recognize that that isn't true then you know you so you have to start living in a different way with a different sort of set of values you you move from more of a um you know your values used to be sort of just believing in what you're told by teachers by authorities by the world and, and then you have to start adopt, start creating or start exploring or start adopting your own set of, of values because we're really talking about values. And, you know, the only way to, to be able to determine whether something is, is good or bad according to you, and, and I don't really even, even believe in good and bad, but let's, let's, let's say it this way. Your values are about what do you want what do you believe to be to be the, the right path right so for example my values say that that tr- you know love is the most powerful the only truth in the world love you know unconditional god's love uh, perfect love is the answer to every challenge right the, the solution to every problem and if you can if i can align with 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 the thought system and the energy and the doing of unconditional perfect love, I found that everything works out perfectly in life and everybody's happy with me and there's just no problems and everything is wonderful and joyful all the time. Now, the other part of that, another another huge value of mine is honesty and truth because I, I don't think you can 
continue. I don't think a world where there, where, where, where dishonesty is allowed is going to ever be a situation that we actually want. And so that's what this is really all about. We're living in a world that, that as we know, you know, truth is covered up. There's so much going on. And I don't want to go into the details because I'll probably get <laughs> booted from the platforms and so on like everyone else is. Well, that's just the whole point, though. I mean, they're censoring people like like me and, and anyone who questions or anybody who thinks for themselves. So we know that there's disinformation. There's censorship, for God's sake, right? So there's, there's different disinformation. There's uh, untruth everywhere from government to corporations, media, all the, you know, religions everywhere. And so you have to want honesty and truth and also in your own life, in your own relationships with your children, with your spouse, with your partner, with your friends, with your parents, with everyone. You have to be able to be yourself and be real and be honest. And so that's just a, a value and it's a value, as I'll get into this, this is a value system for this next era. We're going into a new era and don't take my word for it, just watch it unfold, okay? And I'll, and I'll be here for you as it does to, to talk about kind of how to process this and how to perceive this and how to absorb all this, this information and these massive changes coming to everything from the financial system um, to the media to um, the way that, that authority interacts with us. You know, We're going to be able to be honest. They're going to want us to be honest and open, and it's not going to be such a problem as it has been. Right, being loving and honest is going to be a good thing. The other thing is freedom. So again, it's a value. The value of freedom means I can't impose my will upon you. I can try to persuade you. I can make an argument. I can say my position or my opinion about something, but I but no entity is allowed to to prevent someone else from doing from exercising their free will, their God given free will. Uh, to do what what they feel they need to do, what they believe they need to do. So, so this value system of of basic freedom, which you know, which is guaranteed in in, in the human rights documents and, and and constitutions around the world. You know, democracy is a big part of that. Um, basic individual liberty and freedom is a is a core value. It's non negotiable. So. You know, there's no confusion when 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 the healthcare system tries to tries to say that no, we need to stay home and, and nobody's free. I know that's wrong because that's not aligned with true values. And an illness, and, and I've explained this before in another, another podcast that that illness is of a sick world, of a sick mind, an unhealed mind. It cannot exist in a, in a joyful, loving, honest, and open and free state. You're not going to get the kinds of illnesses. Certainly not 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 plagues or pandemics. Uh, if you're in that state, all this stuff comes from fear, and, and and we are afraid of this corrupt system that's been in control for our entire lives. What's what's new now is that is that there's a very real possibility, or even I would say it's already happened. We just don't all know it yet that this system, this, this cabal that has been ruling the world, um, the ones who head the corporations, the, one who, the ones who are you know, behind the scenes pulling the strings in government, uh, the secret societies, the royalty, the Catholic Church, um, the, the Illuminati, you know, these, these, these sources of, of so-called power that have existed for hundreds or thousands of years I've always just accepted that they're always going to be there. Like it's just kind of inevitable. And as I've, as I've been writing, you know, this, and, and speaking these past five years, I just kind of assumed that this is a force we're always going to have to like sort of deal with and manage. And now we have the possibility or the reality unfolding that we have a new world run by good guys, run by, you know, by good military people that are going to transition us to, to true democracy fair democracy, you know, basic fairness. You know, we're talking about freedom, what, equal opportunity. Of course, we want equal opportunity for everyone. We don't want just, the, you know, a rigged system that only protects some. We don't want certain people in charge of central banks printing their own money. We want everyone to have to be in a level play, playing field where money is the same for all of us. And so we're, we're going to transition into, we are transitioning into a fair world. And you're, we're going to need to be not just taking in the, the, I guess here's the point of this podcast. 
we're not just taking in information about the changes and not just following, ooh, look at the headline today, look at um, you know, the recount in Arizona, look at, ooh, Hillary Clinton, oh, you know, whatever. Um, that's one thing we have to be doing, but we have to be processing this information, these changes, from a, from a value from a, from a, from a value system perspective, and it's going to be very important that we do some spiritual work, you know, which is really the same thing as saying mental health work on ourselves and and help each other, those of us who can. And I'm available to anyone. I know there's people that are sort of chosen by these these good guys, the white hats. I am available to do this role. You know, I'll go on these podcasts, I'll have these talks, I'll work with people to, um, to help explain and teach the value system of unconditional perfect love, you know, forgiveness, all these things that perfect love is and does, as well as how to transition to a mindset where you can be honest. Essentially, what I'm talking about is escaping the ego. And, and that's going to be not only the way that you're able to cope well with these changes, it's also going to be the way that you're able to succeed in this exciting new era. However many years you got left in this life, um, seize the moment because there's huge opportunity and change. You know, in, in Eastern Europe, when communism ended, and then you know, and, and, the, and the capitalist system came in, the people who who quickly understood it and 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 adopted the new systems of thought and, and took some risks with their own businesses and things, these are the ones who succeeded. And and here we here we are again with with a historic biblically historic situation in the world, and those those of us who are prepared with the right mindset, you know, the bravery to stand up and be ourselves and speak our truth about everything, about relationships, about values, about our understanding of God. Those of us who are willing to to be open enough to bear our our, our truth, our honesty. And, and accept other people and be open to other people and serve other people and do things for other people and start a business and take chances generating value f- by, 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 by doing things for others, sharing ideas. You know, nothing has any value unless it's shared with others, whether it's a product or whether it's an idea. Giving, giving away uh, is, not, is not losing something. You're giving away your product. You're giving away your ideas. You're strengthening it. Right, so we have to get away from this idea that we have to like play this this role where we're, where we're not, we're not really honest and we're just kind of being normal at work and and saying what everybody else says and and not really revealing how we really feel inside, because that's that way of of being was the obvious coping mechanism for a world that was completely dishonest. So everything was dishonest. If, if you go into a, to a large corporation, you know, I used to, to work for, well, I won't give the names of the companies, I guess, but you can look it up on my LinkedIn or whatever. But um, I used to work for a large corporation. So we'd have these week-long you know, sales conferences and, and you know, uh, annual kickoff events. And everybody, the whole goal was not to ever be yourself, just to pretend that you, that you fit into this group. And so no one wanted to talk about anything that wasn't, that was ever risky at all it was just bs and it's, it was hard to do but i think that those those people who now who are in the corporate world or in government or in these roles they're the ones who've gotten really good at doing that and and of course that makes you very corruptible you know how far do you go faking and doing things you don't believe in and saying things you don't believe and as the world becomes honest and it's going to they're going to be revealing the truth about so many things, the unavoidable, you know, we're all going to have to reckon with the, the truth about everything. You know, there may be some secrets kept for military reasons still, for real, real military reasons, but really the truth about what's been going on in the world, um, who's been pulling the strings and who's been, you know, corrupted by whom, we're going to find out. And, 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 and what's going to happen in this new world is that those of us who are able to have some comfort level with being ourselves, being genuine, authentic people who are honest about how, what we believe and how we feel, what's right and wrong, and live according to our values, you know, we're going to rise up because we can be trusted. Um, you know, we, so there's no limit to where you can go if, 
if good people can, if good people are in power and, and you're trusted by those good people, um, there's no limit to your success. You know, if you're talking about, you know, climbing the ladder, if you, otherwise you can just start a business and serve and serve people and find your own customers and, and make a good living that way as I've done. Um, so as I said, it's, it's a very different, it's a very different mindset to think that you can be a good, a good person and, and be successful. But what we're going to find out is that if you're not able to make this adjustment, if you're faking, people are going to want you to step out of that and they're, they're going to want you to, to be real. And that's again, what I'm here for, not to provide information, you know, people like, like Charlie Ward and Simon Parks and, and Ezra and, and there's a number of people that are providing, you know, Candace Owens and news sources. Um, what is, uh, I can list some, I don't want to, I don't want to get too far into all the sources that I follow, but they do a great job, you know, look it up, look up, use telegram, you know, follow some of these channels. And what I'm here to do is help you transition to where you, you're, you're happy and joyful um, as the world changes, which it is changing. The sooner you start, the better. I mean, you're going to have to do this eventually. You can just take, take these words and these ideas now and put them aside. And when you, when you come to the point where you realize, hey, it's happening, what I'm saying to you is that this is a value system. This is a, thought, a way of thinking, transcending the ego. Um, it's a way of living that you're not vulnerable. You're, you're totally happy and joyful all the time. There's no peaks and valleys, really. Um, your relationships are, are wonderful and you can trust everyone and you're trusted. Uh, everyone is loving with you. You don't have any crisis or suffering. You're healthy. You're free. You can do whatever you, your fantasies are, whatever you want to do, as long as you're open and honest about it and loving about it. So, you know, there's no limit to, to, your, to your freedom, but you gotta be, you've got to find a way to, to experience your life in a way that you're loving. And if you explain something to people that, hey, I did this in a, in a loving way for these reasons, they can accept it. The problem with the world, the reason people get into trouble is because they hurt other people. So they withhold information, they lie to people, they use people, they exploit people, they manipulate people, they attack people, they punish people. And when this happens, you are doing wrong. You know, so then when it comes out, whether you're a celebrity and it comes out on the news or whether it comes out in your relationship or whatever, or in your community, you lose everything, right? So it's not, you know, it's not about, it's not about like walking this, <coughs> this wonderful moral path where you don't experience your life. It's just the opposite. You experience everything, but you do it in the right way. If you have a need, you talk about the need, see the honesty piece, and the love piece. And you know, I've written two books about this. They're free ebooks at abscondo.com. If you're curious about, you know, learning inside and out what is perfect love, what is unconditional love, what is it not, and what is it? Read my book, Be Love. And it's free at abscondo.com. You can download an ebook. And then a few years later I realized that that wasn't enough, not just the unconditional love, but but actually uh, perfect, perfect honesty, you know, wanting truth, telling truth, always openness is, is the kind of the final step toward fully escaping the ego and living in this way. So then I have a second book called The Switch, which you can also download for free. I've done 770 some posts day, almost daily for the past couple of years. You can read those on my blog. I, I did a movie called Treetops. Um, or you can, you know, listen to these podcasts, go back, you know, the last 30 or 40, I think, or or 50 or so, we're kind of on the, along these lines. And I hope to be, I'm available um, in any way that if you, if you see a use for me, please let me know, write to me, uh, mark.manny at abscondo.com and, and we'll explore kind of how we might work together or what I can do for you or, or be on, on your podcast or whatever it may be. I just want to put myself out there in this, in this role. So I'm going to leave it as always with a with a song. Um, this this one is called "Beneath the Lies," and it's a, an old song that I put out in 2008. It might as well be about today, um, and it's from the album "Midnight Snow." I hope you enjoy it. Oh, I want 
freedom beneath the lights Give me something I can change and make right What's right is freedom in our lives Commit us something that is real Something we can feel tonight I don't really wanna fight I just want what's right We all know what's right I want freedom and clear blue skies Walk with me in the sun by my side Oh, I want freedom, the mother cries I need something good to eat No more selfishness and greed and lies I don't really want to fight I just want what's right We all know Right. Who do you think you are Telling us what to do When our lives That's not true right Beneath the lies The mother cries She said who do you think you are Still telling us what to do when our lives, that's not your right. Beneath the lies, the mother cries. I don't really want to fight, I just want what's right. We all know what's right, we all know what's right. We all know what's right